26 recipes. A couple of them are my favorites. That's what we're going to do today. Season two finale. Let's talk about my favorite recipe. Alright, well what's up YouTube? I'm Regular Juice Recipes. Welcome back to DIY Made Easy. If this is the first time you're joining me, you are just in time to see the finale of Season 2. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great season. Uh, we had a lot of really, really good flavors. We made a lot of really good recipes, but a couple of them just stand out to me as really kind of the rock stars of this series. But uh, I am actually almost out of juice so we're going to mix both of these recipes. These two um, are my two favorite recipes from this season. Uh, I have mixed them numerous times. And I have bent them, tried different ingredients in them. And so, of course, there are a lot of really, really good recipes. And I kind of just had to pick a couple. But, you know, these these two, I, I really feel like they, they, they really kind of stand out. You can have a complex profile with just using a few ingredients. So the first one uh, that I want to mix is actually probably more my favorite of the two. It is lemon vanilla custard. So I started developing this recipe because I was thinking about these treats that my mother used to make when I was a child, and they were kind of a lemon custard bar. And that's generally the direction that I tried to take. They're really, really heavy on the vanilla, super creamy. Uh, very citrusy. It had, you know, zest and, and juice in it. And then a nice, a nice buttery pastry crust on the bottom. They're absolutely fantastic. The first ingredient is an aware biscuit. And we are using it in here at 1.5%. And, you know, that's the crust. Second ingredient in here is super concentrate lemon. And we are using it in here at 2%. Super concentrate lemon is, in my opinion, the best lemon concentrate. So, the custard part of it is coming from Capella Vanilla Custard, and we are using it in here at 2%. Capella Vanilla Custard is a really nice kind of eggy custard. The thing about Capella Vanilla Custard is it does take a little bit of time to steep. For the best possible results for this recipe, you're going to want to wait at least a couple of weeks. The next ingredient in here is my favorite ingredient probably of all time, and it is Flavora Vanilla Pudding. And we are using it in here at 3%. Flavora Vanilla Pudding is a very rich, creamy vanilla note. The last ingredient in here that just kind of sets this recipe off is Inaware Yes We Cheesecake at 1.5%. You get a little bit of that creamy note, a little bit of that crusty note. It really kind of pulls everything together. And it really makes this recipe what it is. All right. Yeah, that's it. Lemon vanilla custard. It's my favorite recipe from season two. Get a little sweetener in there. I used Flavora Sweetness in this batch. I've tried lots of different sweeteners in here. You know, they all work good, but sweetness is something that is subjective. So if you don't want to add any sweetener in here, it's entirely up to you. I like sweet e-liquids, and I like creamy e-liquids, and I really like graham crackers. So it really shouldn't be a surprise to any of you that the other recipe that we're going to talk about is Sammy's. And I know that this recipe has been pretty popular with a lot of you, and that, that really makes me happy. You know, I always go back to graham cracker. Graham cracker is the, the flavor that I use to quit smoking cigarettes, and it will always probably be the most special flavor to me. Every time I taste a graham cracker, it takes me back to the moment that I quit smoking cigarettes, which is why all of us are here. You know, the government has made it very difficult for some people to get what they need to not smoke cigarettes. So there are a lot of people that have recently turned to DIY e-liquid making, and getting into it can be pretty overwhelming. So if you get the ingredients listed in the description of this video, you will be able to make all 26 recipes in this season. There is also season one, which has a separate list of ingredients, but it's the same premise. And very soon, next week, season three will be premiering, and I have a very special preview for that at the end of this episode. But first, 
Let's make Sammy's. Sammy's is a graham cracker cookie ice cream sandwich dipped in butterscotch. So the first ingredient in here is, again, an Awara biscuit. We're using it in this recipe at 1%. And in a wear a biscuit, it does kind of the same thing in here. It's that buttery, crunchy AP note. The graham cracker note in here is coming from probably my favorite graham cracker. It is TFA Cheesecake Graham Crust. We're using it in here at 3%. Combine that with a little in a wear a biscuit and you have a nice textured graham cracker cookie. The ice cream note is coming from 5% of Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream. Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream is very, very good. And perk to those of you who taste pepper from vanilla, Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream does not really do that. 5% you should just get a nice creamy kind of eggy vanilla note. And the last thing that goes in here is TFA's legendary vanilla swirl. I'm sorry, this is not the last thing that goes in here. This is the other part of the ice cream note though. Legendary TFA Vanilla Swirl. TFA Vanilla Swirl is kind of a creamy top note vanilla, so it really kind of kicks that up a notch. It sells that ice cream note, and we are using it in here at 3%. Now the last ingredient that's in here, Flavor West Butterscotch. Flavor West Butterscotch is gooey, creamy, kind of very sweet, very good butterscotch flavor, and we are using it in here at 5%. Yeah, again, that's it. Five ingredients, super simple, super delicious. I did put a little sweetener in here, 1% of Flavor West sweetener. So, yeah, that's it. Those are my two favorite recipes from this season, lemon vanilla custard and Sammy's. Those almost look identical. Do you remember that time when we tried batching and I forgot which bottle? Yeah, let's not let that happen again. So while I get these labeled, I'm gonna leave you all with a little preview of season three. I look forward to seeing all of you next week. I will be sharing with you all of the flavors that are on the season three flavor list. Listen, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn notifications on so that I get to annoy you every time I upload a video. Like, comment, and I will definitely see you guys for season three. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube?